Welcome to my film on showing how to make electro etching on a silver plate. Here I'm using an, a, a 1.2 millimeter silver plate, and uh, you could of course use a copper, but it takes a little bit more experience to use it. On a Overhead film, I have copied the, 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 the models I want to etch. All black have to be etched away. And in this case, I can have two different uh, pieces together on one etching. When you are sure that uh, it can be there, and there is sufficient space around the uh, around the subjects. They are cut together, and uh, so they can have contact directly with the silver plate. Here, I check that it's everything is okay, and are ready to go on. Now I have to put on the ultraviolet uh, film. It is a special film that is that has a protection uh, on both sides. Before you mount it on the silver plate, you have to remove the the the, the protection, and uh, of course first uh, to to fix it. You put ordinary water, uh, preferring distil distilled water, and uh, get it smoothly, smoothly around on the plate. Then you simply place the film and make sure you are not have any ultra ultraviolet uh, light source in the nearby because this will expose the film. When you have removed the, uh, the, the protection, you simply put it on the silver and smoothen it out so to remove all air pockets uh, between the film and the, and the silver. It takes a little uh, experience to do it the right way, but when you have finished, you can choose to to cut away the the, the the loose surroundings. But also, you could let it be. If you let it be, it will be a little bit easier if you are not so experienced to remove the, the last protection that is on the upper side now. Now it's ready. They have to. Uh, dry very thoroughly, either by help of a little heat, not too much, up to 40 degrees, or simply let it air dry. When you have put on the, the material with the, um, uh, the side down, I mount it in a photo uh, carrier, contact carrier, to uh, prepare the exposure under an ultraviolet uh, light. Now I need to expose it under ultraviolet light. I cannot show it, but uh, we'll continue after exposure. Now exposed, uh, then we have to remove the, uh, the protection in front of the, of the, of the film. Now exposed, uh, you remove the upper uh, protection film, and it is uh, ready for uh, for development. The development takes place in a 10 gram per liter soda solution, where you move around the uh, the, the silver and carefully uh, make sure that the uh, 
it is stirred uh, thoroughly. The bath should be preferable 25, 28 degrees centigrade hot. When ready, it is uh, clean, uh, it's washed off and uh, dried very carefully. It is then protected uh, and mounted so it can come in a 5% nitric solution. On the plus pole, the minus pole is a, a, a consistent uh, material. And then it is, uh, with stirring, developed under three uh, volts, around three volts and three amps. It takes around 10 minutes to have it uh, with an etching depth of uh, 0.25 millimeter. Here you see the, the stirring. It's very important to have an even etching. When you can take it up and check the depth when you are satisfied, uh, then you are ready to remove the protection tape. It was very important that the protection tape was uh, very neat around the material, otherwise it would have uh, gone through to the, to the silver and uh, made uh, craters in it. Now it's just about ready to uh, continue the process. Here I just want to show you, show you the, the mounting of a, a copper strip to make a good contact uh, to the silver and well protected against the nitric solution. After uh, you know, to, to remove the the remaining blow film. You simply exposure it once again for a long time under ultraviolet light and you uh, develop in a more concentrated soda solution. After that you have a clean silver plate with the, with the etching and uh, it only needs to be to be either repaired with a uh, with a little stickle, or uh, you can just use it as it is. Here you see the, the finished results. It has been uh, cut and, uh, and grinded. Uh, now it only needs the, the holes for the hangers. You very clearly see the motive, uh, especially on the, the old one. Uh, with the etching, where the etching is very uh, neat.